The first issue of any kind with this 1025R just came up about two hours ago. And this tractor's got a 430 hours on it. it. Started making a steady noise and you could tell something was going out. So I went ahead and stopped it. The only thing obvious is I see some oil splatter and it's very coincidental because I just did the gearbox oil service. Uh, that's on a previous video. I have some on this side. Now that could come from a sealed bearing that went out, seal got destroyed, any grease in it got splattered out. Not so much over here, just a little bit under there. And those oil splatters are well forward of the PTO shaft that drives the gearbox on the mid-mount mower. So what I'm gonna do is get it out there in the yard and go ahead and engage PTO. I'm gonna let you hear it. I'm gonna see if my microphone will pick it up. It'd be kind of cool if it does, that way you can hear it. But if not, I'll back off of it and dig a little deeper. And, oh, I forgot, I went ahead and threw my mat down and on the ground, went ahead and the, the blades feel good. In other words, the spindle bearings feel good to me, but I know they're not single bearings. They're at least double bearings. They could even be triples, I'm not sure. I don't remember a schematic on this. The bottom of the blade, just grab it with your hand. It turns really good. Uh, there's no undue friction on it and it's quiet. And, and that is le leaving the belt engaged on it. Uh, just trying to move them up and down. There's zero movement there, which indicates the bearings are okay. That's pretty good. 430 yards. She's never missed a lick. What you just heard there is 10 times worse than what it was doing when I shut it off. So we'll pull it in, we'll drive it back up off the mower deck, and just look around. Right after I backed off the deck, I went ahead and threw the mat under the tractor and checked the universal joints, thought I kind of was hoping to find one where at least it had a journal that was bad in it and it would be obvious just by looking at it. But after checking the universal joints, they're, they're all in excellent condition. It, it kind of surprised me, uh, especially with that short shaft on the auto connect. So that takes us back to the deck. The oil has made its way clear to the front of this deck. And that it, and I did not notice that. I've wiped off some here, but you can see the splatter here, a fresh splatter. Now just a couple drops of oil, if you sling it out like that, it could create quite a mess because it breaks it down so small. And we have some oil droplets over here and some over here. So it's pretty consistent, making a 360 degree circle. But not getting it up in them shields over here and same way on the other side and then after I loosen the belt you can reach in here and take the pulley the individual blades are turning nice and smooth there's no play in that pulley here's the middle one we lift the belt up no play very solid with just a minimal amount of drag on it same way with this guy. No movement whatsoever. So I was shocked when I got to the gearbox. I turned it last. Now listen to this guy. Now you can see a little wobble in that pulley. Little bit of sloppiness here, but this is the input shaft for the auto connect. So it slides in. This is just a sleeve anyway that slides on a spline shaft and is held down with an Allen here. It might be in here. Looks like two. Okay, right here and here. But no leakage here to speak of. It stays maybe a little wet. But down here seen some leakage on top of the pulley. I guess that's how it's getting making its way around the deck. It's getting out in here and it's slinging it off here under speed because it's got some on this middle pulley. 
the belt remarkably seems fairly dry. But I want to show you the pulley. And yes, there's oil in it. It's trickled out, but there's a lot of metal in it. We get the, the friction of the belt. Okay, there's nothing at all holding. Very loud for a gearbox with oil in it. Try to move this where you can see the movement. Watch, just try to watch the pull it. I'm moving it about a sixteenth of an inch side to side. I'm moving it, my hands on the left side. This probably has close to 300 hours of running, actual mowing on this gearbox. I just changed oil in this gearbox, put it on video. I used AMS oil, 75W90. I've used it a lot. You'll never convince me that that's what made this fail. This bearing had to be failing to begin with. It's full of metal shavings. We'll get a zip tie and put some on a white piece of paper and I'll show you. John Deere does spec, I think for our temperatures, they call for an 80W90. Well, this is 75W90, there can't be that much difference. If anything, around the seals, it will stay a little wetter. It isn't gonna make premature, it is gonna cause premature bearing and gear failures. A lot of metal. Let me take this out in the sun, see if you can see it blend. It's got a hell of a lot of metal in it. Oh yeah, you can see it in the sunlight. You can see it shining. I don't know. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this auto connect shaft off. Seems to be a three millimeter, two hex screws. They work very tight. It won't even snug. It's got a Woodruff key in it. There's the key. I just found out online that this bottom output pulley is left hand threads. So don't force it. Some guys have been up their pulleys trying to take it off. So we got to go clockwise to loosen. Let's try that. I'm going to use an impact because I don't want to damage the pulley. Sure enough. Always research. Go online. Be very careful. You don't want to damage your case just in case you can rebuild it. If you don't have a puller, Get you a couple of stubby pry bars, kind with the steel shaft all the way through them, like this. Put them on about 180 degrees from each other. Give them a couple taps. It didn't take much, but keep it even. Tap one, tap the other one. It popped it loose. Didn't have the camera on. Forgot to mention, the output shaft, the pulley, is a heavy taper. Just drove a screwdriver under here. Up. Oh wow. Looks like the cage is disintegrating everything in it bearing. Wow, it couldn't get any worse. There's one that the cage is right here. It's completely gone guys. It might have destroyed my, my gears anyway. And that's had the oil serviced in it. It's never been abused. There's a lot of load on that bearing though. When you get that 60 inch into some tall weeds, there's gonna be a lot of pressure on that bearing. Looks like half the balls are missing unless they're just all grouped together. Well, I'm pretty sure that comes under a catastrophic bearing failure. We'll let it go with that. There you go. It's a tough old ring. Spacer on top of that bearing.
Well, now we get in there and see the condition of our gears, hopefully. There goes the bearing. <laughs> Jeez. One thing that concerns me about the shaft on the bottom end, on the output, it's got a pretty good groove in it there. It's the bearing race. That's, to me, that looks like a small bearing for that output shaft. I was hoping to get some numbers off of it. There it is on the inner rays. Made in Russia. And I know putting AMS oil 75W90 in it. Severe gear oil. This is just coincidental. But I've got to show you the gears, guys. The gears look real good. There's clearly no teeth missing. They're not wanting to turn real good right now because they're not supported by the shaft. Well, I've changed my mind on the rebuild. It's going to be rebuilt, but got to looking around after I shut the camera off and putting a magnet. This is the end of a screwdriver, just a little magnet. It is full of metal down in here. Give you an idea. Look at that. That's that's even so much worse than the other three that I pulled up. That's a lot of steel there. I hope you can see that steel. Some of the guys online on some of the Green Talk forums and stuff, they're having a hard time finding this plug, so I'll have to locate this as a steel press plug. And that's only there simply so you can get this input bearing and gear put in. And this has got to be a dual bearing. We have a seal and a bearing here, and you've got one right behind the gear, which would be about, you can see the how thick the, the gears are, maybe an inch, inch and a quarter. That is if you measure it on the hub. There's gonna be another bearing right in here. So it's gonna be dual bearings here. And this thing, it seems like it was run long enough. It could have been failing for an hour, an hour and a half before it let me know it through noise. The vibrations never did pick up. So I'm sure these two bearings are contaminated. And when I get the new box in, I'll do a video on just installing the new box. Well, I hope this video helped somebody. Uh, that's the first time I've been inside this box on a John Deere 60D mid-mount mower. And if you like it, go ahead and hit that old like button. And thank you for watching. And I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. Have a good one.